In the previous video, we saw how by launching a SQL injection type of attack, uh, the attacker was able to determine that there was an account admin. If you remember admin and the password was admin. Sorry. And well, now he's going to use that information to get some money. So I know that there is an account, there is a master account named admin admin. So the first thing that it goes is it's going to log in into the application with that admin admin user ID and password. It's going to find out that uh, this is the, the Altoro uh, master account for the bank uh, where all the money is kept. And then what he's going to do is he's going to launch a SQL injection attack by maybe helping with a rat tool that he also has as part of this uh, attack uh, on, on an infected machine that is inside the network is going to send a SQL command to transfer some money from an account to another but he's unaware that the STAP technology of Guardium can actually be can actually inform the appliance that that type of transaction is actually happening. In particular, there is a movement of, of the master account Altoro that is being done by somebody which is not the Altoro user. But you can put multiple ways of really detecting that. And that information is actually sent to Curator. And that's what we're going to actually see. Uh, we could also have shown that uh, Guardian is quite capable of actually not only detecting those type of attacks, but actually uh, blocking them. We are now back into the Curator console and we're going to open a browser. I'm going to go for a, an unprotected port to the application using the admin admin password that we found out as part of the previous stack. And that's the corporate account for the bank. And we see the amount of money. This is a small bank, it has $52 million on that particular account. Uh, what we're actually going to do is we're going to uh, exploit that admin user ID and password to launch an attack. So we go into the log activity and we're going to select a particular search that would allow us to see attacks uh, uh, detected by Guardian going real time. And Guardian reported that, that vulnerability to Curator, so Curator is alert and ready to see those attacks. So we actually launched that SQL command that moves money using the DB2 admin account from one account to another. In fact, if we go back to the browser and take a look, click select account to see the actual balance, we now left $1.61 on that uh, particular account. But that uh, information we just saw it pop up in the background, uh, we actually see multiple uh, alerts that were sent to Curator. And we see in this particular that DB2 admin account, which is not the Altoro master account, has actually transferred some balance. And again, Guardian could have actually been set up to block these attacks as well.